Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we have another episode of the Road to Glory with Yeovil Town in FIFA 19 career mode. As you can see on the screen we're at the first game. Before we do jump into that if you could either like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you are new uh, that would be much appreciated. I just want to say a big thank you to the previous um, or for the previous support on the previous episode. Um, really, really happy to see uh, some nice comments and uh, views and likes as well, uh, which is really, really nice to see. And obviously, it does motivate me to carry on making these videos um, for you guys as we do go 1 0 up against Colchester there. Uh, with a really nice team goal, you know. Um, Gray getting the goal at the back post there, uh, slotting it into the top corner. Now, again, uh, I am post commentating this uh, episode um, because I don't know, I, I just prefer. For me personally, I find it easier to post commentate on uh, episodes like this where there's a lot of action. Um, I don't know. I just because obviously we're in League Two and I want to try and get as many games done. So for me, it's easier for me to just smash through recording load of games and editing them and then talking afterwards. And once we get up towards like the Premier League or Championship and Premier League, I'll then start to carry on with the live commentaries. Uh, um, because obviously, I don't have much time. Uh, to record games and stuff most of the time it's only on the weekends uh, and so and obviously I I uh, prioritize the Cardiff City career mode quite um, more than this one uh, not not saying that I don't enjoy this career mode or I don't want to upload it uh, I just because this one has got this one needs a lot of time uh, to sit down and actually play because obviously we are in League 2 like I said and uh, it, it will take a while for me to get us up to the Premier League hopefully even even if I do it back to back seasons uh, to get up to the prem, it's still going to take a long time. Uh, so this, like I said, this one does need to get looked after, uh, and obviously playing it on the weekends is much easier for me because uh, I can literally sit there all day, most unless I'm busy, uh, and then plow through the recordings of uh, each game. So what I've got for you today is actually a lot of gameplay. I think <clears throat> coming off the back of the last episode, we were sat like 14th in the league. I think. And now this episode, we proper, I proper grinded and tried, try harded if you want to call it, to get us try, like try and push us up the table. Uh, in this game, this was actually a rotated side against Colchester because I um, I think uh, in the previous game, a few players were lacking fit uh, or lacking fitness after the game. So I actually decided to rotate the squad a bit. And to be fair to them, the rotated squad wasn't even that bad. Uh, people like Gray. Uh, Ola Mola, I think his name is the striker. He doesn't really pr play much. Uh, Browning, uh, Brown on the ball. Uh, well, Brown A or Brown. I don't know how you pronounce that properly. See so, yeah, these names. I'm just not good at pronouncing names. Anyway, they're not normally starters in this team, so um, it, it was not as some refreshing to give them a nice run out. Uh, as you see, Gray's on the ball here. I tried to cut it back and pass it um, to Fisher first time, but he actually got the ball back from Almeida and he puts it into the top corner um, with a really really nice finish. Uh, to put us 2-0 up there. Uh, this is probably one of the most comfortable wins we've had in a while, to be honest. You see most of the games that I play, I either, if I lose them or I draw 0-0 or 1-1, or I win games like 1-0, I don't really tend to uh, actually win games by a decent margin. But that is the first game of the episode, and that is the first win of the episode. And uh, we are jumping straight into a big game against Exeter City, who are, I do believe, at the time of this game, they were sat in the top four. I think and um, we were like sat down in like 10th I think at this position so it was really really it's a really big game for us especially uh, as a man's on the ball he's really impressed me so far this season and so is Almeida the centre mid who unfortunately lost the ball there Um they're two I'd say them two Fisher probably the main players that have impressed me so far as a man drives on through and the keeper makes a really really good save as left down there uh, to prevent that from going into the top corner as you see whipped in unfortunately uh, we couldn't get anything from that but Warren here wins, wins the pullback plays it into Amida and we couldn't get anything going on the first attempt but we do, do get another chance here Amida out to Dickinson the left back really really poor shot wasn't going on target at all so it was kind of lucky that the defender blocked it because um, that would have looked very bad for Dickinson. I just tried to keep the um, press on here. Uh, Exeter just playing some football around the back. I mean, actually got the ball back of a man. Drives on in. No support. So I went for the shot. And a keeper has to make a save again. I get a corner. Whipped in 
front post, I thought I scored, uh, couldn't quite get to the back post, that player there, as you did see, uh, there's a couple of players just bumping into each other, um, a man picks up the ball, flicks onto McDonald's, he waits for the run of Fisher, Fisher tries it, a man can't get the scraps, and they just get lucky there, Exeter, because we could have easily scored from either Fisher or a man's attempt. Um, but from the goal kick, uh, or the kick out the hands from the keeper, they just gave it straight back to us. McDonald now on the ball, running down the wing. I thought I might have got a penalty for that. McDonald's still going, went for the shot. Unfortunately, it was blocked and went out for a corner. Uh, like I said, McDonald there, I was... Uh, hoping for a penalty, and a man, yeah, it was a really good header to the back post, why is my centre back just ducked, if he just stayed up and tapped it in, it would have been 1-0 to Yeovil, um, but he does make up for it in the 40th minute there, with a really good interception and block, to prevent Exeter from scoring, I've actually got the other end of a counter attack here, uh, started off with a man who's on the ball again, tries to play a really nice ball to green, um, I, I, I seen the run of green, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try and send it through the, that gap, uh, but unfortunately, you know, the passing with these standard of players wasn't great or isn't great and neither is the, really the crossing ability from that cross there from McDonald's but we still have the ball edge of the box from McCrory play it back to Dickinson again he waits for the ball into Almeida into Fisher into a man a man into Green on the first time shot into the bottom corner what a goal that was from Green um, not only his finish his first time finish the football from the team there was outstanding Dickinson Almeida Fisher a man Literally one touch football apart from a man who had two touches. It's just, you love to see it. You love to see it. Absolutely lovely standard in League 2. Um, we pick up the ball again. McCory into a man. A man into Green who makes a nice run. Tried to shoot. Unfortunately, the defender did block that. And they do clear their lines only to Bailey who's fresh on the pitch. But he couldn't win the header. Um, Exeter actually come up the other end here in the 74th minute. We tried to clear our lines. Didn't work the first time. Got out the second time with James there. A man tries to flick it onto Fisher, uh, but unfortunately we couldn't do so. So, this is the point of the uh, game where I do decide to make some subs. Uh, I decide to bring on, uh, to take off Green, sorry, and I decide to bring Olamola on for Fisher as well, uh, just to give uh, give Fisher a break, you know, because Amang is um, fairly younger and he's uh, got more stamina and energy to carry on the game. So, that's what happened with that. Uh, corner comes in. I don't know what my defender was doing. It was a, I was so angry at this. My defender headed it back towards the goal like a shot, and then the defender, the other centre back, just chested it into the path of their player, and he scored. Look at that. Headed it one touch. Oh, not chested it. His first touch into the path of Brown, and he just drills it into the uh, into literally an open net because the keeper could not deal with that, and we cut. We could have easily had three points there. Really could have. I just don't understand the game mechanics there to allow that player to not only head the ball to our goal as a shot and also the touch from the centre back which ruined that game for us because that would have been a buzzing win um, but you know we didn't lose all three points uh, so at least we got a point uh, moving on into another strong game Cheltenham are actually as a time of recording this they were top, I, they're in the top three I do believe so um, we do have a big task on our hands uh, we did try to create something straight away, but it didn't really come of anything. And they come straight at us with a really poor shot. Um, that uh, That is easy for Baxter to save. Uh, a man makes a really nice run here. Great ball for McDonald. I thought I was going to get a free kick. Didn't. A man cuts inside, shoots. And that was going into the top corner if that defender did not make that block. So, really good block from them. We get the corner whipped in. Who's there? I think it was Fisher. I'm not too sure. Back out to James. His first touch was woeful. So, we couldn't actually get a shot off in the end. Um, but Almeida pushing on in. Goes for a shot. And it's actually not far away from the target. Um, just over there from uh, Almeida on the edge of the box. Um, 29 minutes in and we get another chance here. McDonald running all the way down to the byline. Whips it across to Fisher who heads it straight down to the keeper. We do get a corner though. Um, probably could have done better with the finish Fisher but no no worries there. Um, the centre back does try to get ahead on there. McDonald does keep it in. We flick it on and unfortunately um, they come away with the ball. Uh, until uh, Mina makes a really nice tackle and then he completely misses the second one. Um, so they clear the ball. And then we actually eventually head it up after uh, their clearance. And it was just a bit of a scrappy football at this point. Um, but Amang does pick it up, plays a nice ball to Fisher. Fisher plays it back to Amang. Amang now on the ball, whips it. And yeah, just sums up the game so far. Uh, that was a cross, by the way. It wasn't a shot. Um, that just that just shows how poor the crossing was. 
uh, or is most of the time for me. Anyway, Fisher gets a really nice ball played from a man to him, and of course Fisher finishes it. The strike partner duo, whatever you want to call it, are linking up once again for another goal for Yeovil. Really, really happy with them two up top for us. Um, they're starting to form a nice little partnership, you know. Uh, they're starting to both individually get uh, quite a few goals. Um, from the last from the last few episodes that we have had them in, uh, Almeida with a great chance. I can't believe I missed this. I don't know why, but when I actually had that chance, I actually held down circle really like far. So I don't really know what I was thinking. Anyway, we get another chance here. Uh, Bailey, wait, plays it across to McDonald. McDonald can't turn. Still has the ball though. Play it back to the left back. Dickinson. Picks up a man into a man, give it to Almeida. Almeida can't give it to Green. Green to James, back to Green, and the ball gets intercepted. And um, really unfortunate there not to get a goal. Late into the game now, lads. Uh, not much action in this game, uh, to be honest. Uh, but Fisher picks up the ball, uh, doing a bit of a bit of a fake shot on weight. And that was the full time whistle. So we've got another win on the ball. We haven't actually lost a game tonight, uh, today. Sorry, in today's episode. Um, and next, moving on now, this is going to be a really tough game. Tranmere Rovers, um, quite popular in the world of football, but a bang and a mang and Olamola. What like the one touch football and the connections uh, to get this first goal within the first two minutes of the game. It was literally the first attack. Really, really well played from them too. Uh, as you can see, a man goes on a nice run. No one even goes near him. Olamola, boom, strains that top corner for his second goal of the season in League Two. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Uh, as you can obviously tell, we've uh, rotated the team around a little bit. There's a few players uh, tired and whatnot, so uh, I did decide to do that. Um, so that is the reason why you've probably seen Olamola, uh, the brown on the right, uh, the left side. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, nonetheless, though, uh, the squads. Is still as good as the first team, you know. Uh, no, no disregard to those players that have been brought in for this game. Um, so obviously, Tramir are quite at the top of opposition as we gave away the ball again. The, some of the passing in this game, particularly, was just so bad. Simple passes were just going well past the player that I wanted it to go to. Um, just really annoying. Anyway, a man gets the ball here, uh, goes to cross it. Can we finish? No. A man on the rebound, it's in, hit the post. And it was a really nice finish there from Amang. Um, honestly, I think it was James. He should, probably should have scored um, uh, to get that goal. Um, so, uh, yeah. I, I, I just don't really know what happened, uh, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I just don't... I just don't get what happened uh, with that goal. Anyway, we're moving on into this part of the episode here um, with uh, a man with a great shot and it actually bounces um, off Patterson. Uh, uh, no, not Patterson, sorry. Uh, oh my god, I forgot his name. Um, but it was actually given offside because it did block off him. Uh, I don't think a man shot was actually going in anyway, so um, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but anyway, we drive on here um, with a Brown into a man. One on one with the keeper just before half time, and he drills it into the top corner there. Really, really nice finish from Mang. It's three nil to Yeovil uh, before half time against Tranmere. I think this is going to be the biggest result if we can actually hold out and don't bottle this game. Um, a man getting two goals and Olamola getting one. Um, deep into the second half here, not really much action in this game to be honest. Um, but we do get a few chances. Um, as you'll see, Olamola and Amang, really good link-up play. I tried to feed it back to Amang again. He just about gets there from the defender, but he couldn't get a proper shot off, as that does get blocked there uh, by the defender. I did then decide to make some subs. I think I brought on um, Almeida at one point. I'm not Actually, I didn't even bother uh, making changes, um, just because the players that were on the bench were all the first team starters, and I didn't want to use them because they were getting rested this game because we had a big game coming up, I think. Um, so I didn't really want to waste their... I just wanted to f like get them fully fit, you know, for the next game. But anyway, this is the end of that game. Really big win for us there. We move on into the next game against Crew. We're going to sim this game because, as you can see by their recent results, and um, they're not doing great, and they are quite far down on the table. So uh, I decided to sim this game, uh, and hopefully I don't regret my decision. So um, not really much happening in the first, uh, first half, you could say. Um, as you can see, first half, nothing happened. Green for Crew got a red card in the 49th minute, which kind of helped. Um, but still, nothing happening 
uh, until the 85th minute, Arquin gets the goal to make us win 1-0 against Crew. Really, really happy with that because we left it late, but you know, a win's a win. As we move on into the last game of the episode against Carlisle, as you can see, if you did, if you quickly saw before I went into the game, we're actually now into the playoff positions, which compared to the start of the episode, we were like 14th in the league. So it's really, really nice to see that as Fisher puts us 1-0 up in the 19th minute against Carlisle away from home. And uh, like I said, it was really nice to see that we actually have pushed up in the league table um, compared to what we were like at the start of this episode or the end of last episode. Um, so yeah, like I said, really happy with that. Um, this game, still 1-0. Olamola makes it 2-0. Then they score with Kennedy straight away. But that is the end of the episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!